was just the brightest star out there. He couldn't have been any more at ease on these gigantic waves. He looked like the perfect big wave surfer. That's Eddie Aikau. He's probably the best of the younger Hawaiians. Hawaiians, they're more in tune with the ocean. Only the ancient Hawaiians developed the art of riding waves for pleasure. When he surfed, it was about that connection with the ocean. When you have a guy like Eddie, you're always looking for the next adventure. Waimea Bay was such a dangerous place. Lord knows we needed lifeguards. So Eddie Aikau becomes the first lifeguard at Waimea Bay. He attempted over 500 rescues at Waimea Bay, and his record, he lost zero. Anybody that rides Waimea Bay knows you're only taking a chance and just know what you're doing, I guess. He wanted people to enjoy and love Hawaii, and that was the unique thing about him. Hawaiians are the ones that are being shoved aside to make room for new hotels going up. Even in the 1960s as kids, we weren't wanted on Waikiki property. That is what really, really hurts. That sense of being inferior in your own homeland, Native Hawaiian people's own sense of identity was going extinct. There is no countervailing discourse, really, until the building of the Hokulea and the daring act of sailing into the open ocean. Eddie, he was filling his mission. He was proving the power of his ancestors. And they sailed right into a maelstrom. Here was somebody who was willing to risk his life for them. When he left, they knew that it was going to be OK. When you look at the levels of humility and the levels of willing to sacrifice, the levels of love and aloha, to me, is core to the story. And it's a Hawaiian story.